State variables are a key part of robot state machine design. So here I have a green, yellow, red, and blue LED, which when the robot's moving, it represents the lights for the motion control. And now that I'm testing my sonar for obstacle avoidance, it shows me when my obstacle is within two inches. So for example, if I put my hand in the front, okay, so my light sequence that indicates the robot is starting up. And then after that, I test my force sonar with my LEDs. The LED should only be on if there's something within three inches. So that red light is telling me that one side is seeing something within three inches. Let's see if we can clear all the state LEDs. There we go. So nobody has anything within three inches. So now if I put it down, that means that the front has something within three inches. If I move my hand, it goes away. Right has something within three inches. Back has something within three inches. And left has something within three inches. So now for my obstacle avoidance, I can make different behaviors by whether the obstacle is in the front, left, right, or back. Or if I can trigger two at the same time, I could even make behaviors based upon front left obstacle, front right obstacle, back left, back right, etc.